What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's been quite some time, obviously, since I've had a YouTube video, but, but, we are starting out a deficit, and I decided it's a great time to get back into, that was probably really loud for the camera, I'm sorry. It's a great time to get back into YouTube, because I know deficits are something a lot of you are probably going to be doing right now, especially leading into the summer, and you might want to know how we're going about it. So, I have been at probably since the end, more like middle to beginning of August is when I kind of stopped my deficit. I went kind of like intuitive eating for a bit and then I started eating higher calories. I'm at currently 2,900 calories, not that accurate right now, to be honest, probably more like 27 to 2,800 just because I've fallen off on eating that much a little bit, but that's okay. That's like basically bringing me down a little to get me started with the deficit anyway, so it works, but we're going to be going into deficit calories pretty soon here. So I'm gonna bring you through the whole thing today. We are also getting DEXA scans today. Basically a DEXA scan is just like a body composition scan for us to see our muscle mass, our body fat, all that stuff to get the most accurate representation of where we're starting our cut. And then we're going to get one again at the end to see what that's like. So we'll bring you through all of that. And then one of my followers had an idea actually, because I always talk about how inaccurate those um, at home like smart skills are. So she was like, why don't you weigh yourself at home and then go to do the DEXA scan and show us the differences. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna wear the same exact outfit that I'm wearing right now to the DEXA scan. I'm going to go fasted as well. I'm not gonna eat anything. I'll probably have some water. And yeah, the DEXA scan is in probably like an hour and a half now. So I'm excited for that, but let's weigh myself here. I'll show you what all that looks like and then we'll go do the scan pretty soon. We got 137.2 pounds, 18.3% body fat apparently. Muscle mass, 105.4 pounds. Yeah, there's a lot of things on here, but we'll kind of deal with those main three things first. And then we'll see you know, what we get from the scan itself, from the DEXA scan, and we'll compare. But that's apparently where I'm at, and you guys, my weight has definitely been coming up. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this little graph here, but basically the lowest I was on February 1st actually was 133.8 pounds and I'm 137.2 this morning. So my weight's up, full show. But I will bring you guys along today. Let's go. What do you think my body fat percent is gonna be? Your body fat percent? scale this morning said 18. I'm surprised yours was higher than me. Your body fat percentage is gonna be 23%. I think I'm gonna be- No, you're gonna be like 24, 25. I think I'm gonna be like between 21 to 25. Yeah, I agree. We'll see. Here I go. Okay, so we'll have your head over there, laying on your back. Go ahead and bump up here by a pretty good amount. Actually, Too much. come down, yep. <laughs> right there. So we'll do, yeah, karate chop just like that. And then slide your hips just the tiniest bit towards this, this wall here. Yeah, you're good. And then I'll use it for you as well. You can just kind of keep your legs against that with a little bit of pressure okay. and I'll hold you in place there. And then for you, again, here it says six minutes, which is probably gonna be a little bit shorter than that. <clears throat> and I'll let you know when you can relax your hands. You're supposed to karate chop your hands. Don't touch your body, yeah. What's up guys? So the results are in from the, de the DEXA scan. It was really easy. So first let me remind you guys what the ratings were from this morning, not ratings, whatever. So this morning when I weighed myself, it said I was 137.2 pounds. I was 18.3% body fat and I had 105.4 pounds of muscle, which by the way, you guys, it's like organs too. What's up there? Talk louder. I'm talking loud enough, okay? Anyway. So we did the scan and scan came back and said I'm 136.7 pounds. So scale said 137.2, scan said 136.7. It said I'm 25.1% body fat. So the scale, if you remember, said 18.3. That is a very, very large difference between the two. And my muscle mass is 97.3, the scale said 105.4. So there's quite a bit of difference between obviously the scale and this scan, and even in body weight there was a difference. So just, you know, a reminder you guys that the scales do have quite a bit margin of error. There's a little bit of margin of error with your weight, but then with everything else, especially body fat, 
it will be pretty far off. So yeah, that's the result. Um, like I said, today is the first day that we're getting into our cut. So Greg already dropped his calories 300. I haven't dropped mine yet because I'm not. I've not decided what I want to do yet in terms of how much I want to drop, but I will show you guys that after the gym. We're going to go work out right now, and I'll show you the rest of my eating today. I haven't really eaten much today yet, but let's do it. What's up, guys? I am the absolute worst at vlogging because everything you saw was now two days ago. Um, I'm just the worst, but can you see me? I think you can. Okay, so everything that you saw was a couple days ago whatever that's fine and it is day number three of being in the soul cut right now so i first want to let you guys know and talk about how i dropped my calories so you guys can get an idea for that how you can drop your own calories i went from 2900 calories down to 2600 calories so my fat previously was at 85 and now it is at 75 and then my my carbs I brought down 50 calories sorry 50 grams so it was at 400 grams and now it's at 350 grams protein is exactly the same so I've been on these calories for the past three days it's actually 2615 calories but I've been on these calories for the past three days actually not two days feels fine I do not feel extra hungry really like last night a little bit but for the most part I'm totally fine this is just going to be where I'm starting and this is probably more like my maintenance than anything else because I was gaining weight on the 2900 so very excited to be in the cut I'm pumped for this and I'm just I'm just excited okay um but I wanted to do a little like body update for you guys today so you guys can see where I'm starting out and then also just kind of take you through a little bit more of this day since I clearly didn't on the other days, but let's do the little physique update and then we'll go from there. So yeah, this is my physique right now. The lighting's a little bit better over here. I'm definitely starting out this deficit a lot, not a lot, but leaner than I was last year when I started out the deficit and previous years as well, which is pretty nice. So I can still see a little bit of abs there, quad separation, you know, things like that. In terms of muscle built, I don't necessarily think I put on a ton of muscle, to be honest. I'm definitely at a point right now in my fitness journey where it's a lot harder to put on muscle than when I started. I was putting on muscle a bit faster, so it just is what it is. It's part of the process, but I'm super pumped. Like I said, I am already a little bit leaner starting out this cut than I have been in previous cuts, but I'm just excited to see where the cut takes me. Okay, now it is time for me to make some lunch. So I'm gonna make some chicken really quick and I wanna make like tacos or like chicken quesadillas or something. He's so freaking cute. Wait, you guys have to see this. Coda, what did you get? I went to Home Goods today and he got a little snake. Not a little snake, it's kind of big, but he's freaking obsessed with it and it's the most adorable thing in the world. I love him. So I'm gonna make Sorry, I'm leaning down. That's just like where the camera is right now. I don't have a tripod, so we're just gonna make it work. So I'm going to be making shredded chicken for my little quesadilla things. But I'm also gonna make regular chicken because Greg's gonna be home soon and I'm sure he'll need some chicken. So let's boil some chicken. Um, boiling chicken's really easy, by the way. You just throw it in a pot and you boil it. I will show you it all. Let's go make some chicken. Okay, you guys, so the water is boiling, so I'm just going to plop the chicken breast in there. All right, and she goes. It's a very large chicken breast that it almost didn't fit. So give that about like 20 to 25 minutes, and then we'll be back. It's recording? Yeah. What's up, guys? <laughs> Welcome like, to my channel. It's like bend down when you talk because it's... <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to my channel. This is Greg. <laughs> yeah. I, don't see on my I love your haircut, baby. No, I love it. I love it. You look so handsome. You can see more of you, you know? It's so dark in here. All right, the chicken's almost done. And then we're gonna make some quesadillas. For the quesadillas, I'm using flour tortillas. Four cheese Mexican blend, reduced fat. Why are you smiling? What's going on? 
<laughs> and possibly this if there's not enough of that cheese. Why are, what is going on? Wait, you're just, just like monotone. We're using four cheese blend. Listen, I'm just enjoying the spectating. All right, I need to check if the chicken is done. I've got Greg here doing his duties. Yeah? <laughs> Definitely the only one that does it, that's for sure. No, that is not true! What is this for? I'm making quesadillas. Ooh, spicy. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty much Did you say good. spicy? Uh, it needs a couple more minutes. I did say spicy. Leave me alone. God. You're spicy. You know, I was vlogging when he wasn't home and things were just so much quieter and, and more peaceful. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, Greg got a haircut. Greg, show, show your head. Show your head. Show it off. Come on, model a little. Huh? Do a little modeling. What do you mean? Just, it's just my head. It's just your head. You can do the modeling. See, he gets a three, two. What? I don't know. <laughs> Cody, what are you up to, buddy? You still chewing your new sneak? You still chewing your new sneak? You like it? You like your new sneak? Have you told him that we call him Sir Coderson? No, this is Sir Coderson. Um, also goes by Yoda, um, Winkleberry, Winkleton, Tinkleberry, <laughs> Crinkleton, you know, all the above. <laughs> Sir Coderson is the, the most common though. We very rarely call he's, him Coda. He's the king of the house. This yes. is his world, we're just living in it. Yeah, precisely. All right guys, I forgot to show you me making it, but here I am. So I made two right. different, can you not? I made two different little quesadillas here. So I used two of these. Then I put the shredded chicken and some cheese inside. And then on the side I have some pico and some Greek yogurt. So it's non-fat, plain, tastes just like sour cream. So this is my lunch.